Uh, that's the Lord doing it, not me. But uh, we thank God for this opportunity. And uh, no matter where I go, I always like to remind everybody I'm the least of anybody here. Uh, if you don't know me, that's, that's the way you need to be introduced to me. I'm the least, praise God. I'll be the lowest of low. As long as Jesus Christ is lifted up, that's the reason why I come tonight. I come to give Him glory and honor. There's no, none good, no, not one. Uh, but praise God, He came and, and He sought after me and He bought me uh, with a precious price. And uh, tonight, it seemed like the Lord maybe uh, give me just a little bit of thought. I'm going to read it, uh, the book of Matthew chapter 7. Uh, if you'll be much in prayer for us tonight, uh, I may read at length, but... Uh, I'm going to actually start in Matthew chapter 7, starting with verse 12 and read all the way through the whole chapter. You bear with us. I just seemed like I asked the Lord where to start. He told me just to start there. So uh, we come to lift up the Lord. I believe, uh, believe I'm in the right place. I feel His Spirit already, brothers and sisters. I thank God for what I feel in my heart. I believe that spirit bears witness one with another. If I've got an evil spirit, you'll feel it in your heart. If I've got the spirit of Christ, you'll also feel that, praise God. So it's good to be here tonight. Like I said, it's it's an honor, and I don't want to step in front of anybody, but the Lord did give me something. Uh, So you be much in prayer. Matthew chapter 7, we'll start with verse 12 and read down to verse 29. The Lord be our helper today. And the Bible says in, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12, Therefore all things whatsoever you would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is you down and cast into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built a house upon a rock. Praise the Lord. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which buildeth the house upon a sand. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house and it fell and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. I'm going to pray one more time. You help me pray tonight that God be able to use me for his glory. Father in heaven, we come to you, God. We, we don't have anything to offer. Or we just come to offer, Lord, what you're giving us, God. I pray that you give the increase, God, as we come and stand in the demonstration of the Spirit, God, and the Holy Ghost power tonight. I pray you take this stammering tongue, God, this weak mind, Lord. I pray you use it for thy glory in this broken vessel. For it's in Jesus' name that we do bow tonight, God. I bow to no other man on this earth, Lord, nor have I before, nor will I be into this day forward, God. But we give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here tonight. I can feel the Lord's Spirit already, but it seemed like maybe the Lord began to deal with my heart with verse 25. And I'll read it back again. It said, And the rain descended. This is Jesus talking here. He said, And the rain descended and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Praise God. I'd like to preach just a little bit about being founded on that rock tonight. Bless God. Uh, Since the beginning of time, they've tried to hit upon this rock. Uh, They've tried everything they can do to break this rock. But I'm telling you, every time they come against it, bless God, they go away worse than they came. You can't do anything with this rock. You can't do anything against the truth. You only do something for the truth, praise God. But I'd like to do just a little bit of something tonight. It seems like God wants me to do something for my own self. uh, Just a foundation inspection. It's good to have a foundation inspection every once in a while. Praise God to see if it's really founded on that rock. If it's founded on anything else, Jesus said, it's going to come down, friend. If it's founded on anything else except for the Word of God, it's going to fall and crumble. I believe when the disciples came out of the temple, they looked at Him and said, Jesus, look at this great thing. He said, one stone shall fall upon another and none of these shall be standing. They're all going to fall, friend. I'm telling you, if you've got something built tonight and it ain't founded on that rock, it's going to come down 
friend. It's going to make you look like a fool. It's going to make me look like a fool. Just like everybody that's came before me. And if time goes on, there'll be those after me that try to ridicule this man. They try to do everything they could to him. But bless God, he came up out of that grave victorious over all of these things. Ain't nobody ever beat my Savior. Bless God, I want to be founded on that rock tonight. Don't you want to be founded on that rock? I've had many things in my life I built and it wasn't founded on the rock. And you know what happened to it? It fell, praise God. And it come tonight. If it be of God, bless God, you can't hold it down. But if it be of man, it's going to come tonight. <laughs> praise the Lord. It's good to be here tonight, ain't it? I'm glad I'm founded on that rock. There's been many things I started to build spiritually and I built it without this rock. And you know what happened, bless God? I began to feel that conviction power come down upon my soul and God said, I'm not pleased with this son. And I had to go back and start digging the foundation. You've seen people build. Maybe many of you are builders. I don't know. Those listening, you may be a builder. I ain't a very good builder. I can tell you right now. I've seen things built that really didn't work. I've seen those thinking they could take this a little bit less concrete before they build that wall. And you know what happens? Before long, you'll start to see a crack in that wall. It'll start down at the bottom. It'll start to crack. Friend, if you got something built and it ain't on that rock, it's going to crack from the bottom to the top. And one day that wall's going to come down. Praise the Lord. I want to be founded on that rock, don't you? You ever seen somebody thought, well, I can, I can just save a little bit of money. I can just save a little bit of time. And I'll put just a little bit less concrete in that. And then what I was called for, there's a lot of people, I've done it myself. I thought, well, I'll give him a little bit less today. I'll give Christ a little bit less today. But I'll tell you the end of that, friend, it's going to come down. Man, I'd like man. to inspect that foundation tonight, wouldn't you? It's good to inspect your foundation every once in a while. If you live in the house for a long time and maybe you don't think about it, maybe you've been saved for a long time, hadn't thought about it, but I'd like to get back to the foundation tonight and make sure my Lord's pleased with me. <laughs> There's a lot of things can happen with the foundation, ain't it? You start to digging back and getting down, pouring that good footer. You start to get somebody. If you just get anybody to build a wall, it's going to come down. Hey, just because they call themselves masons don't mean they're masons. I'd like to find the true master builder, wouldn't you? Bless God, he's got the master license. For everything to build. <laughs> founded on that rock. Is everything in your life founded on that rock tonight? I'd like for God to be able to put a shed of light down on my foundation and show me if they something if they're at the house and if we had a, a rock wall built and I, on the outside it looks all right. But you go underneath the house and you can see a few cracks in that thing. On the outside, you may look all right tonight, friend. On the outside, I may look all right because I got a white shirt on. That'll make me no better than you. But on the inside, bless God, I want to be true, spiritually built on Jesus Christ tonight, don't you? He told the Pharisees, he said, the outside, you're like whited sepulchers. You know what that is? That's a grave that's been in the sun for hundreds of years. It's bright. It don't have no dirt on it. He said, the inside's like dead men's bones, friend. <laughs> they wasn't built on that rock, was they? Oh, no, they was built on education. They was built on uh, the Pharisees law and all these things. They thought they was better than somebody else. But when that rock came, they said, never a man spake like this man. They said, hey, he talked different than the scribes and the Pharisees. He talked like one with authority. Praise God, you ever talk to the Lord? He's got authority in your life. He's got authority in your life. If you poured that concrete and started that wall and it was bad, you know what you need to do? we got to dig that thing out of there. Man. There ain't no sense in trying to lay no bricks on top of a foundation that ain't ready to roll. If you got a foundation that ain't ready for the rock wall, friend, it's going to come down. It's going to make you look like a fool. It's going to make me look like a fool. How many things in your life since you've been saved have you went out and done on your own and God had to show you? God's had to show me time and time again. I didn't tell you to do that, friend, but when He told me to do it, Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that's within me. Bless His holy name. When it's on that rock, friend, it ain't coming down. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to do a foundation inspection? I say I want to be a Christian, and at times the Lord's got to inspect me. I've heard people say before, maybe they're going to buy a house, and they come in and said, well, we found, we got good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is, uh, it ain't went too far, but the bad news is, you got a little bit of damage on your foundation. I'd like for God, it says, the Bible says that some men's sins go before them. Man. And it says some men's sins come after them. I tell you tonight, I want my sins to go before me so that they can be covered by the blood of the Lord. If they come after me, friend, I'll not make it to heaven. I want my sins to go before me. Amen. I'd hate to find out too late that God come to me and His Son come to me and said, you got a foundation problem. Yeah. you got something that ain't right that He ain't happy with. He's had to do me like that many times. He's found something in my life He didn't need. And if I had much pride, I'd say, Lord, no, it's okay. 
way. I'm telling you, the end of that is death. There's a way that seemeth right to a man, but the, the end thereof is the ways of death. I don't want the way that man wants it. I want the way that God wants it for him. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It ain't easy to inspect that foundation. See, you're afraid what will find out. Sometimes when God begins to inspect me, I'm afraid of what He's going to find. I'm afraid He's going to find something in there that He ain't pleased with. And that means I'm going to have to do something different. I'd like to bring it to Him first, wouldn't you? I'd like to come to Him and say, Lord, I found the problem with my foundation. Would you help me with this? I found a little bit of crack. I didn't realize I was building on sand. Praise God. He said it's the, the wise builder that builds upon the rock. How many today is building on that sand? And when the waves come, friend, it's going to knock down. Man. Praise God. Some people got flooded the night before last. Some people didn't, but it rained everywhere. Some people got floods, some people didn't. I've seen some places where there was a water line. I could tell when we was going to, I was going to work yesterday morning or day before that yesterday morning, I could see where the water had been. Praise God. You can look and see we've been through some floods together. We've been through some floods in our life, but God has helped us to stand. God has helped us. If you stayed upon that rock, that building ain't going to fall, friend. The world's come against it for the last 2,000 years. They've been trying to come across the church for the last six or eight or ten months, but bless God, the church is still standing and people still gathering together to lift up holy hands to a merciful God. Amen. I believe that tonight, don't you? I believe He's a merciful Savior. He said, if you build on this rock, it will not fall friend, but if you build on anything else, the winds are going to come. Yeah. Praise God, the winds are going to come, the rain's going to come, and great's going to be the fall of that. Great is going to be the fall of that. Most time when it falls, it don't just hurt one. It hurts more than one. It hurts more than one. Oh, Lord, forgive me tonight if i got anything in my heart. I just want to talk about building on that rock. I've many things in my life, friend. I thought I could do it on my own. I thought I was a mighty big man. But I realized I couldn't even walk without Him holding my hand. And you can't either tonight, friend. We can make it on the other side if we'll build on that rock. You know what this world needs to see? They need to see some rock builders. They need to see some people that's built on that true foundation. You've been, you've done it just like I have. You've been in the mountains before. You've been going down the road before. And the house may be gone, but the foundation's still standing. Them old saints of God, when they died, that foundation's still here. They some that died and went on to heaven, praise God. And their testimony is what helped to save me. Bless God, when you die and you leave this earth, that don't mean your foundation's going with you. It's going to be left for somebody else to say, what was this all about? Have you ever been on those places and thought, I wonder who lived here. I wonder who put this rock on top of this rock. I wonder who did this. Bless God, I'm so thankful for those that tread the that went down the trail before me. I'm thankful for those that did the old paths before me. He asked me to ask for them old paths. And when He shows them to me, to walk therein. I want to walk on the old path, friend, so that I can lay that foundation on that solid rock that's greater than me. Amen. His name is Jesus Christ. Ain't you glad of that solid rock? Amen. He's founded on that rock. Praise God. I, I'd like to tell you tonight, I've been founded on the rock for about 20 years, but I've slipped off of it a few times. Praise God. You can believe it if you want to. There's been times i turned my back on the Lord and I'm ashamed of it, but when I looked at Him, His arms were still wide open. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, you say you never made a mistake. I hope you pray tonight and get saved too. Praise God. We've all come short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. But His arms is outstretched, ready to receive you back to His self again. <laughs> How was it when He went after that 90, that one, uh, that, that lost sheep? He didn't say he kicked him all the way back home, did it? Hey, you get back. He said he picked him up. Amen. He put him across his shoulder, friend, and he carried him all the way home. What do you think he was talking to him on the way home? Do you think he was talking to him when he carried him back? He said, I'm crazy. Yeah, I might be a little bit crazy, but the Lord's had to carry me back a few times, and I felt his voice whisper to me, Lord, son, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Has He had to carry you back to the fold before? Yes. Have you got out on your own before? Bless God, you decided to build on something else. You decided to build on sand because it was quicker. It ain't the quick way that's going to make you there, friend. It's the hard way sometimes that's going to get you there. But that walk back, oh my, what's it feel like when the Master picks you up and you know He's accepting you back in. You know He's accepting you back in. I saw a sign on the way here, a little bit different my message, but I wanted to talk about it in a minute. I saw a sign on the way here that said, we pay the most. I ain't got no idea what it is. I don't know a lot about this area. Maybe it's a flea market or whatever. And I thought, oh no, you didn't pay the most, friend. I don't care what you're talking about. Jesus paid the most for you, God. He gave everything He had for you. He didn't have nothing left. I got to think about it. My mama paid a whole lot for me. I guess if you wanted to tally it up, mom and daddy spent a lot of money on me. I guess the state of Virginia maybe spent some money on me. But Jesus paid the most for you. You know why? Because He wants you to be built upon this rock. He's tired of seeing these buildings weave. Tired of seeing these buildings go back and forth. And then they fall. If you're built on that rock, if the wind's blowing you tonight, friend, you ain't got to fall. You just got to stay. Praise God. Keep your hand in the nail-scarred hand of the one that died on that cross for you and I. 
It said the whole knew not a physician. Praise God, ain't you glad he came to you? He came down to the, he touched the leper. You believe that? I believe he touched the leper, don't you? I mean, the Bible tells me, hey, praise God, would you touch a leper? I wouldn't believe I'd be wanting to touch one. But Jesus went right to where they was at and touched it right where it hurts. He said, this is where it hurts. I want you back in the fold. I don't know why the Lord's leading me this way tonight. He said, I want you back in the fold. I'll carry you back. I'll talk to you all the way back. And I'll, I'll set you down right in the middle like you've never been gone before. Ain't you glad He can do that? Bless God, there's been times I turn my back on Him and He comes seeking after me, seeking to save that which was lost, that which is backslidden, that which is turned away from Him. And He set me on that rock. What David said, praise the Lord. What David say? hey, He got me up out of that horrible pit. Praise the Lord. He pulled me up out of that horrible pit. He pulled me up out of that married clay. You know what that clay does? That clay sticks to you, friend. You can't get away from that clay. It'll be all over you. But bless God, I believe when he took David and set his foot upon a rock. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Who is that rock tonight, friend? I found it on Jesus Christ. I'm no better than anybody else, but I found it on him tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ain't you glad you found it on him? Yes. David said, Oh, renore, restore within my soul. He said, I want to get back to where I was at at one time, God. I believe David said that. You read it for yourself. And God come back to him. Said, Oh, Lord. He come back to him, picked him up out of that pit. I, you can visualize this any way you want to. I don't believe he looked at her and said, Hey, how'd you get there? That ain't my God. That ain't my Jesus. No. He don't do that. He said, Give me a hand. Thank Give me a hand, friend. He That's said, Give right. me a hand. I'll get you up out of there. He said, I don't care what you did to get there. We don't need to talk about that. He said, I done forgot about it. I just want to reach you up out of there. Praise God that you're glad of that. He can reach you up out of there and forgive you of all your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. I believe David. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I believe David got that clay wiped off of him. When he got up out of there, just like them ones that I read about him maybe yesterday, those that never walked, and he picked them up and said, the active ones will see strength. Praise God. I believe when he pulled me up out of that hole, all that sin just shed off of me, friend, and he put my foot upon a solid rock. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. My foot ain't slipping on this rock. If I get down off of this rock, it's because I got down off of it. It ain't going to push me off. <laughs> hey, it ain't going to push me off. I'm so glad that I'm founded upon this rock. He said, if you be founded on this rock, you ain't going to fall. There's going to be things that's going to hit you. There's going to be things that's going to knock your props out from under you. But if you keep your foot upon this rock, he'll be right there. Praise God, he'll be right there. David said, lead me to that rock. That's higher than I. Has there ever been times you've had to say, Lead me, Lord. Lead me to that rock. I don't know where I left it at. I don't know how long it's been since I stood up on that rock. But God, would you lead me to there? Would you lead me to where that rock is? (laughs) Praise God. I'm glad I can get back to that rock. I don't know where you're at tonight, friend. I'm about done. I don't preach very long. I I don't know where you're at tonight in your heart. I have no idea. I just thank God for the opportunity to stand here, at least among anybody. And when I can talk about my Lord, I can brag about my Lord, I'll do it anywhere. Thank God for saying Walmart. Anywhere you go, you better tell somebody about the Lord. This world needs to hear about it. You know why? Because they ain't standing on this rock. They ain't standing on this rock. They're trusting in the government. They're trusting in everything else. You know who I trust in? I trust in my Savior. I surely don't even trust in me, friend. All I trust in is my Savior. He'll not lead me in the wrong path. Oh, praise the Lord. I believe in Him tonight, don't you? Praise God. Everybody stand tonight, if you will. I'm thankful. (laughs) He's my rock. Oh, that rock ain't moved. You know, there's a lot of earthquakes and moves a lot of rocks here and there, but this one rock, it ain't moved. Oh. But when the rock got in his way, when they put a man-made rock in his way, it got out of the way. Praise God. When he went into that tomb, they thought, get that rock. I want you to take that rock. I want you to roll it over the tomb and he ain't coming out. But when you try to put something against him, it's coming down. It's going to come down, friend. It's going to be exposed. If there's something in your life that don't belong, I'm not to judge of anybody. I'm just telling you what the Word of God says. If there's something in your life that don't belong, it's going to be revealed. Those things you've done in secret, it's going to be hollered from the rooftop. Those things I've done in secret, it's going to be hollered from the rooftop. I'd hate to wait too late. <laughs> I say, I want my sins to go before me, don't you? Has anybody like for your sins to go before Amen. you? God, I'd like for my sins to go before me because I'd hate for Him to say, depart from me. He just told them here. He said, depart from me. I never knew you. He said, one day there's going to be a separation of sheep and goats. 
I surely like to be a sheep with you. I like to be found in His fold. He is the good shepherd, friend. And if you're outside of that fold tonight, I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you're listening on Facebook. I don't know if you're here tonight in this church. But if you're out of the will of God, I'm telling you, you can come back to Him tonight. His Spirit is drawing you tonight. It's not to anything I've said. It's not the Spirit of God that draws man. It's the Spirit of God that saves a man. It's that grace of God that brings a man to repentance. Amen. Praise the Lord. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Praise the Lord. I'm thankful for this spirit tonight. I'm thankful that I'm founded on that rock. <laughs> they said, never a man spake with this authority. Never a man spake with this authority. You see, I can't speak with authority in your life. But there's been one there. I believe he told Jeremiah, he said, I knew you before you formed in your mother's womb. Yes. Hey, praise God. He knew you before you was formed in your mother's womb. This world may look at it different than that, but I'm telling you, praise God, you were still alive when you was in that womb. And he was right there with you, friend. And he's still right here with you today. You may have backslidden on him. I have no idea. You may have never received God. You may have never received his son. I'm telling you, it took me a long time to receive him. But bless God, that one day I finally came to the end of myself. And he finally broke me. Friend, he set my foot upon a rock and established my goings. Praise God, every head bowed, every eye closed. I don't know your heart tonight. I have no idea your heart, but I do know that as soon as I found out I was coming over here, I, I went and opened the Bible. Don't always happen like this, but God took me right to this spot. He took me right to here, and I said, Okay, Lord, I'll stand if I give an opportunity. And you heard the message tonight the same as I have. I come to be hearing the preacher just like you did. And I pray if there's anybody here tonight, I don't know your heart. But if there's anybody here tonight, I, I don't know how God's dealt with you or what, what maybe touched you. But I do believe He's wanting to receive you. I do believe He's wanting to receive you. He's wanting to establish you. Sometimes that rock, it feels like it starts to move under us. That's just the world, friend. They're just trying to shake us just a little bit. But I promise you, by the Word of God, it's written in red in my Bible. He said, if you'll stay on this rock, you shall not fall. But if you build on sand, friend, and you've got something built, and it ain't on this founded solid rock, it's going to fall. I'd rather fall on my own, wouldn't you? I'd rather say, God, just let me fall tonight. Fall on an old-fashioned altar and ask God to forgive me. You say, that ain't in the Bible. Well, let's sit down and talk about it a minute. I believe I can find it in that old good old book. Every time they went somewhere, I got to read in the book of Ezra. They was trying to build back the temple. You know what the first thing they done for? They built the foundation, friend. They put an altar there and they prayed and asked God to help them. That's the same thing you're going to have to do. If your foundation is broken, if it ain't there no more, if you come back to an altar... <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you come back to an altar, just like Ezra did, come back to the altar and pray and ask God to help you, He'll start to show you how to build that foundation. He'll show you, friend, how to build that foundation. I don't know anything about building. I'm not very good at it. But I believe spiritually God can direct you. If you're backslidden on the Lord or whatever it is, maybe you've got something in your life that don't belong, today's an opportunity to get rid of it. And you say, how can you preach that? Because I've already had to go this path today. I've already had to ask Him if there's anything in my heart. If there's anybody like to come pray tonight, God would like to receive you one more time. Maybe your foundation's got a crack in it. Sometimes He just got to pull it up out of there. He's gentle. He knows how to do it. I don't know how to do any of that. But He knows how to do it for Him. If you need your foundation worked on. <laughs> Oh, I'd hate to find out. Let me remind you of this. I've got you standing. Let me remind you what I said just a few minutes ago. He said, I got good news and I got bad news. He said, that you, there's damage in your foundation, but it's not too late. I'd hate for God to come to me and say, I found something in your foundation, but it's too late, Donnie. There's nothing you can do about it. You're going to be bound and cast into hell. And when hell's over with, you're going to the second death of that lake of fire. Lord, if, if God showed you tonight that there's something in your armor, if there's something in your foundation, I want to tell you the good news. The good news is it ain't too late. Praise the Lord. It ain't too late tonight, friend. Anybody like